Let me add my welcome and thanks to all of you for joining us here this evening to celebrate the work of our three shortlisted no nominees for the 2008 Robert Burns Humanitarian Award. This prestigious award was inaugurated in 2002. It celebrates and remembers the bard Robert Burns, who was not only our greatest poet, but also one of the great humanitarians. And I hope that this evening will be a fitting tribute to his work. I'm an Ayrshire boy, so Burns has always been a part of my life. But by speaking from the heart, Burns reached people all over the world. From man to man the world o'er shall brothers be for all that, to Auld Lang Syne, his great ode to friendship. He wrote and sang about love, universal brotherhood, and the human condition. He was a profound commentator on society, and his work carried an obvious humanitarian message. Kofi Annan, the former Secretary General of the U UN, paid tribute to the humanitarianism of Robert Burns in 2004, saying, let us dream, as he did, of a true brotherhood and sisterhood that embraces and encompasses all humankind and allows all people a chance to enjoy their inalienable right and dignity and freedom. The Robert Burns Humanitarian Award recognizes that the words and themes running through Burns' work are just as relevant today as they were back in his time. Although each year the award is given to only one individual, it's our fond wish that the award recognizes the efforts of those thousands, perhaps even millions, of people around the world who dedicate their lives to others. Previous winners of the awards have come from different spheres, demonstrating a great variety of humanitarian work. They've included Yitzhak Frankenthal, founder of the Bereaved Families Forum, an organization of Israeli parents, Palestinians and Jews, who lost their children during conflict, and who promote peace, coexistence, and tolerance. Maria Ruzika, who won the award in 2006, was described as an extraordinary one-person aid agency who worked tirelessly to get compassion for victims of the wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Marla was killed by a car bomb in Baghdad at the age of 28. Last year's winner, Adi Roche, has worked for the past 15 years providing humanitarian aid to the children and families affected by the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. All amazing people with amazing stories who have devoted their lives to helping ordinary people, people whose lives had been shattered by conflict or disaster. One official definition of a humanitarian is a person who seeks to promote human welfare, a philanthropist. However, this doesn't even begin to describe the tremendous efforts and dedication of our three shortlisted humanitarians this evening. The judging panel's task was a difficult one. First, choosing the shortlist and then the winner, from a wide range of individuals and organizations nominated. Nominations for the award opened on Burns Night in January, and they came from all corners of the globe, highlighting the breadth and depth of the inspirational work that is being carried out by people, often working for years, quietly and without recognition. That is certainly a hallmark of tonight's nominees. 
that they were all involved in works that required dedication and self-sacrifice, in works that significantly changed or improved the lives of others, and that they were doing so long before they gained celebrity status. Tonight's three shortlisted nominees are a humanitarian aid surgeon, an international film star, and a charity founder. After dinner, we'll have the presentation to this year's overall winner. But of course, these three and everyone else involved in such inspiring humanitarian work is a winner. Everyone a winner. And an inspiration to all of us, a reminder that we can all make a difference to the world in which we live. If there's just one message to take away from tonight, I hope it will be that. We can make a difference. Once again, thank you for coming, and please enjoy the rest of the evening. <laughs>